Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. These are the principles that change the newcomer from taking punishment to dishing it back out. While initially thought to be a background character, Kenny Payne's character arc was well written and another example of history repeating itself on how Cobra Kai sells power. What went wrong? This is how Kenny became corrupted. Let's talk about his rivalry with Anthony LaRusso, being corrupted by Cobra Kai, comparisons to other characters, and more. It goes without saying that there are spoilers ahead, so if you haven't seen Season 4 yet, don't watch this video. And before we get started, if you're not a part of the biggest Cobra Kai Discord server, you should fix that. Click on the link in the description to join the server right now. It is the largest and most active Cobra Kai community on Discord with over 13,000 members. Who knows, you might find me and a few others you know in there. Lastly, I wanted to give a shout out to Pasco Aka for allowing me to use his music in this video. You guys may know Pasco already from my Terry Silver and Hog videos for his wonderful interpretations of the Cobra Kai themes and motifs. Do me a favor and please subscribe to his channel. Let's do a recap on what we know about Kenny so far. Feel free to skip to the next chapter if you want to avoid the recap, but be warned, you may miss important details later on in the analysis part of the video. Kenny Payne transfers to West Valley Middle School for the second half of his school year. He spends most of his time alone as his father is deployed in Qatar, his mother working long hours, and his brother, Sean Payne, is in juvie. Because Kenny caught Sean's friend stealing from their parents, Kenny was about to be attacked but Sean intervened and was arrested. The first day of school is rough, as he is made fun of for dancing, being bullied by Anthony LaRusso and his friends. In gym class, Kenny scores a point and accidentally smacks Anthony in the face while defending. A fight almost ensues, but Leah, Anthony's childhood friend and crush, prevents it from happening and compliments Kenny on his shirt. After school, while playing Dungeon Lord, Kenny gets a friend request and accepts it, assuming he is playing with Leah, but ends up being catfished by Anthony and his friends. Zack tells Anthony to meet Leah and others at Balboa Park the following night in cosplay but Kenny realizes it's the bullies who tricked him. After accidentally breaking Anthony's phone while being recorded, Zack and the gang attack him and hold him up while Anthony reluctantly gets ready to attack. Kenny breaks away and ends up hiding in a dumpster. After the video of him in cosplay goes viral, Kenny visits Sean to confide in him who advises him to find Robbie Keane, a fellow cellmate he had run-ins with. After finding Robbie at the dojo, he tries out for Cobra Kai against Kyler, but because he lacks experience and has fear within himself, he fails the tryout and leaves. Robbie finds out where he lives, returning the backpack he left at the dojo. When Robbie sees that Kenny has gone viral for the second time, he offers to teach Kenny a few moves. Kenny is still afraid and doesn't pick up the lessons right away at first, but Robbie advises to use his speed for offense instead of running away. When he returns, Robbie advises Kreese to give him one more tryout. After Kyler scares him again, Kenny catches him off guard by using his speed to strike first. Impressing Kreese and Tori, Kenny officially becomes part of Cobra Kai. The middle school students get a tour of West Valley High and Leah is friendly towards Kenny again, pointing out the strawberry on his shirt. As Nate and Bert, two former Cobra Kai students, enter the restroom while he cleans his shirt, they make fun of him for his association with her former dojo. As Kenny prepares to strike first again, he is stopped by Hawk, another former Cobra Kai member, who tells him to quit while he can. Right before Terry Silver officially becomes co-sensei of Cobra Kai, Robbie, Tori, and Kyler all find out about Hawk messing with Kenny, plotting revenge. Although he thinks he's learned everything, Robbie teaches him the hard way that moves don't matter if he doesn't have balance. That night at the drive-in, while bringing back the snacks for Cobra Kai, Kenny attempts to avoid Nate and Bert, only to once again run into Hawk. Robbie sees this and assumes that they're trying to pick on the fellow Cobra, leading to a standoff between Cobra Kai and Miyagi Fang. The confrontation ultimately ends in Cobra Kai being tricked into standing on the baseball diamond at the time when the sprinklers turn on to wet the field. As the tournament approaches, Kenny continues to improve and becomes more confident thanks to karate. However, Anthony grows jealous of Leah bonding with Kenny, stealing his clothes and embarrassing him once again. Robbie warns Kenny not to go down the same path that he and his brother are on, but Kenny responds saying that he's reaching his breaking point. Being taken under Silver's wing, Kenny grows deadlier by taking advantage of his opponent's weakness. Due to having a change of heart after talking to his father and Leah, Anthony attempts to apologize to Kenny, but having no reason to trust him, Kenny goes the group into following him into the library taking them down all at once and almost hurting Anthony until they are caught. Because of the prior incidents being recorded, the LaRussos find out that Anthony has been the aggressor, resulting in Kenny taunting Anthony and being let off the hook. At the All Valley, Kenny goes on to help Cobra Kai win the skills division and also making it to the quarterfinals thanks to the Miyagi-Do techniques he's learned from Robbie. Kenny and Robbie face each other in the final quarterfinal match. Kenny manages to score a point thanks to Silver's prior lesson, but Kreese motivates Robbie to ironically shed his weakness, ending the match by not only winning, but giving Kenny a bloody nose. When Anthony talks to Kenny after his match to apologize once again, Kenny is still furious and starts to beat him down until Robbie intervenes. 
Kenny swears that Larusa will be in a world of pain once high school starts, telling Robbie that there is no mercy. The first thing we have to talk about is his rivalry with Anthony and how it compares to history repeating itself and the essence of Johnny and Daniel. Kenny is a hybrid of a middle school Johnny and Daniel, obviously with his name being very similar sounding to Johnny. Kenny is a bullied youth because of a jealous ex or a jealous friend, Anthony in this case, and turns to karate to defend himself, though this time, turning to Cobra Kai and embracing it fully, contrary to Daniel finding himself in Miyagi-Do. This arc would also be similar to Miguel's arc in Season 1, as Miguel is able to find more confidence and the ability to defend himself thanks to Johnny teaching him the ways of Cobra Kai. Leah, Anthony's childhood friend and crush, is obviously the alley in this situation, with her name being an anagram of alleys. The difference is that while Leah was Anthony's childhood friend, they have not dated compared to Johnny and Ally. It is this jealousy that LaRusso has that causes him to bully Kenny further. And for all we know, while Leah is becoming more friendly with Kenny, we don't know that they're dating either. In fact, outside of what happens during gym class, Leah is pretty oblivious to the rivalry that Anthony and Kenny have going on, outside of possibly knowing the viral videos that Kenny is a part of. One of the more ironic details to note that is like Johnny and Daniel, Kenny and Anthony are different but same. Even though they pick on him through Dungeon Lord and for playing it, it was more than likely Anthony who knew this would work because of him knowing what the game was and overhearing Kenny being complimented by Leah on his shirt. Zack even proceeds to ask how Anthony knows so much about the game, implying that because he's played it before, Anthony knows everything about the game and knew how to play it before they even started to catfish him. The difference is that with Kenny, unlike Daniel, though in a way you could say he was able to get revenge, Kenny was successfully able to get back at the bullies in more ways than one. He not only was able to evolve his skills enough to take them out one-on-one -on -one physically, but also played up the prior incidents to the principal and teachers, resulting in getting all of them suspended, and rightly so. Kenny is the victim in the situation, as Anthony had been the aggressor in many instances. This is implied when Kenny changes his expression to a smile when the LaRussos look away as they're talking to the principal. This also mirrors what happens in 1984. Johnny exaggerates what really happened on Halloween at Crease, claiming Mr. Miyagi jumped Cobra Kai unprovoked, though this actually works with Kenny because everything is documented. And although Anthony did attempt to make things right, it was far too late as Kenny not only had enough of their games, but was still angry over his loss to Robbie more than likely. Another scene from the past plays out, where in a Dutch-like manner, Kenny attacks Anthony and beats him until Robbie stops it from getting worse, telling him that high school is only going to be worse. Even when Robbie tells him that's not how he trained Kenny, he's clearly gone off the deep end and is fully embracing the creed. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. This corruption is also evidenced prior to the tournament when Robbie is observing Kenny practicing on the punching dummy when recounting what happened after gym class. Kenny states that he's going to take after Robbie's example and beat them up, though Robbie tells him that he needs to be smarter than both him and his brother, as violence landed them both in juvie and also resulted in Robbie being suspended from school. This mirrors a similar scene in Season 1, where Miguel finally gets the concept of striking down and Johnny watches as Miguel keeps furiously punching it. From what we see happen at the end of Season 4, it is very likely that Kenny has now switched from becoming the Daniel of his story to Johnny, a student rising through the ranks of Cobra Kai and changing his role from the bullied to the bully. What exactly led to his corruption through Cobra Kai? One of the more obvious answers would be the principles itself, but we also have to look back at some key details of his past and before he actually started training. Before everything happened, Kenny was easygoing and happy-go-lucky with hobbies such as video games and cosplay. It's not until he was picked on that the change started to occur. And I'm not just talking about Cobra Kai itself, but through someone from his family, his brother. We know for a fact that Sean was defending Kenny because of the friends stealing from their family. But it's very possible that because of Sean advising Kenny to seek out Robbie Keane, that he recounted what happened with Robbie during his time in Juvie and why he has to be aggressive to survive. This would also go back to Robbie trying to steer Kenny away from the same path that he and Sean are on as Kenny is younger and has more of a chance to fix his mistakes now before it goes too far. More on this later. While Robbie was trying to do the right thing by teaching Kenny self-defense to protect himself, he ran into the same problem that his father had with Miguel and Hawk, not explaining the principles clearly enough to avoid going down the wrong path. Before he could set Kenny straight, there was another factor that compounded these issues further. Terry Silver. While Silver initially was against fighting a war against both miyagi and Eagle Fang, as he wanted to help Kree set out what they had planned to do, this changed when Daniel refused to stand down and when Kree started to expose his mercy for Johnny. During the middle of the season in Match Point, we see that Silver starts to influence the students through his teachings, mirroring what Kree did in Season 2 teaching alongside Johnny and while Johnny was also away. The key and prime example is when Silver picks Kenny to fight Robbie and to make a point that everyone has a weakness. Because Robbie kept showing compassion and feeling sorry for Kenny when he got hit, Kenny uses this to catch Robbie off guard with the sweep, the same move Robbie taught him to use when someone doesn't have balance. Silver proves his point by saying, what your opponent is thinking is key. 
in business, in war, in a fight, make them think what you want them to think. At school, Kenny makes quick use of this, tricking Anthony and his friends by running away to make him think that he is weak, when instead, he lured them into a trap and took them out one by one because Anthony's weakness is being a hothead and not thinking clearly. Taunting Anthony while the LaRussos are talking to the principal is evidence of this, saying I got you as his plan worked. Kenny uses this again when Anthony attempts to apologize to him at the tournament, throwing him off balance and using this to go on the offensive. This is a reversal of what happened at the beginning of the season where instead of Kenny fearing Anthony and his friends, Anthony now fears Kenny. Even after Robbie intervening and scolding Kenny for picking on Anthony, he is still cheering for Robbie to take out Hawk, ironically throwing Robbie off balance. Here are my final thoughts on Kenny and what we can see from him in the future. Like many other characters, Kenny has grasped martial arts quickly in a short amount of time. Depending on when exactly he joined Cobra Kai, he trained in as little as 3-4 to four months and made it into the quarterfinals of the All Valley. His speed is his greatest asset, not only making him hard to hit, but also using that speed to attack his opponents, making it difficult to defend against his attacks. Kenny's knowledge of Miyagi-Do also makes him deadly as he's seen using the drum technique with ease to defend and counterattack his opponents. Although Robbie may have likely felt sympathy or tried to take it easy on Kenny, scoring a point on one of the best fighters in the Miyagi-verse is still a notable feat. What I imagine his arc to be like in the future is a complete 180 of what occurred in Season 4. Now tormenting LaRusso like Johnny did and forcing Anthony to learn how to defend himself. With Sean getting out in the summer or fall and depending on the timeline of Season 5, I would imagine that Sean is going to side with his brother and become one of the fighters that Cobra Kai needs. This could cause conflict between Kenny, Sean, and Robbie as that since Robbie is no longer part of Cobra Kai and was Kenny's mentor, he may have to fight Sean once again as Sean is going to side with his family. With Silver's backing, more than likely Cobra Kai will be up to no good and be able to escape any punishment they see fit. As someone who was also bullied in middle school because of the hobbies I enjoyed, Kenny is a very relatable character. You can sympathize that he wants to be able to fight back because he has no one else to back him up. It's just a shame that things turn out the way they did and I hope he realizes the error of his ways in the future, but it may be a long time before that happens. And speaking of realizing the errors of one's ways, I would hope that you're not using an unsecured connection. There's a chance that this may come back to bite you and you might end up running straight into a wall. Click on the link in the description to get a NordVPN to your plan with a huge discount. Here's why you need to secure yourself with NordVPN. You can use it to unlock Netflix and your favorite entertainment websites that are not available here in the US. You can connect up to 6 devices at the same time with one account. There is no data logging whatsoever and it works even in China. If you're out and about and using public Wi-Fi networks in places such as coffee shops and airports, NordVPN will protect you with double data encryption for increased anonymity. Even Cobra Kai knows that you can't always be on the offensive and you sometimes have to defend yourself at the right time. NordVPN works with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android, has a Chrome extension which is very user friendly, and unlimited bandwidth. If you're not happy with it for any reason, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. NordVPN also won the Best VPN Award and Best VPN Awards for 2020 by one of the most trusted experts, VPN Mentor. It's also the only VPN to get all the green checks on PC Mag. So what are you waiting for? Use the link in the description to get yourself secured with NordVPN. Shout out to NordVPN for giving me the opportunity to be an affiliate. Let me know what you guys think down below. What was your favorite part of Kenny's character arc? If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like it, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment as these all help my channel grow. If you guys can, be sure to check out and subscribe to my second gaming channel. I'm trying to get this channel partnered as well and supporting this channel also helps support this main channel. Shout out to my Twitch subscribers and YouTube members, I appreciate the support. If you'd like to directly support the channel, consider becoming a member and enjoy perks such as behind the scene updates, access to the VIP Discord, shoutouts and videos, and more. Thanks for watching, stay beautiful, stay awesome, and we'll catch you around next time.